Oh, we're back. Stay tuned. We are staying tuned. I'm staying tuned more, Sina. How about you? Oh, yeah. These calls are really helping out. Right? They really are. They really, really are. Sina, do you care to share your passage, what you wrote, highlights, whatever you'd like to, to share with us? I'm very Absolutely. happy to be here. So glad to have you here. You're the, you're the greatest show partner. Thank you all that is for Cinnamon. Thank you for this amazing, she's over here when you're looking at it, this amazing show partner. So Great Awakening and Blending is the reason all of us in physical form at this time have chosen this time. So this is big. So I knew even before my emergence into this physical body that this time upon the planet would be the time when more and more than ever before would achieve a blending of physical being and non-physical counterpart. I am more than I see in this physical body and most physical beings do not understand this. Right? We can accept that there was something before this life experience and many of us are believing or hoping in more cases <laughs> that there will be something beyond. There are very few that understand right now while I'm in this physical body that there is another part of me, a non-physical part of me, a non-physical counterpart, a non-physical inner me that exists. And that inner me is communicating with me from its non-physical focus, a part of me that has the benefits of all that I have lived through all of my physical, non-physical lifetimes a part of me that is aware of me and communicating with me through my emotions. Yes. 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 Jack Box 4. Right? <laughs> Things are going my way. Right? What a, what a great point. That this inner being, I love that the inner being has the benefit of all that I've experienced. All, all of my physical and non-physical, Abraham says. How fascinating that this inner being has the benefit of all my physical and non-physical life experiences. And it's aware of me and guiding me. And it is me. I'm coming to this more and more sentiment as we repeat this, that it's not this separate part that's so great. And it, and I'm separate from it. It is who we are. It's, it's us. It's an, another part of us. It's so exciting. And it really gives me great hope. So I, I'm glad that we're covering it so I can remember that there is an inner being that is an ex that we're an extension of that's actually what's fueling us here in the physical the reason we can be in the physical it's our, it's the energy coming in it's our plug is in the outlet of the inner being yeah we're teamed up right Together, teamed everyone up. accomplishes more i wouldn't be doing this call right now if it wasn't for you we're teamed up we're yeah. teamed up with yes. our inner being that has yes. all this information and is communicating with us and loves us. Yes. It is us. It is us. It's fueling us. Yes. It's rooting for us. It's yes. cheering for us. It's signaling us. Yes. <laughs> it's messaging us. Right? It is that me that extends the energy into me that keeps me going here in this physical place. Recognizing that this inner part of me exists is also essential to my understanding of the great creative process. For without the understanding of where the emotion that I feel is coming from, I do not understand or usually acknowledge the reality of my guidance system. Okay. Recognizing that this inner part of me exists is essential to the understanding of the great creative process. Ooh, this is really getting where my emotions are coming from and what they yeah. mean. And I love that we're simplifying the equation that we're, it's plus and minus. Yes. There's only two emotions. Right. And my inner being is communicating with me through my emotions. Yes. And when I establish this connection and get this down, then it will be communicating with me verbally and all other ways. But let's, we're simple and down to plus and right. minus, Very emotion, point. communication, let me know how I'm doing, which way I'm going. Yes. What the future has in store for me if I keep flowing my energy in that direction. Right. Because all my information of all my lifetimes. Right. <laughs> Knows us, knows exactly what it is that we would choose and is literally calling us to it. 
through our emotion. How exciting. So well said, Cinnamon. So, so well said. You, I can tell by the way you explained it that you understand it and that you're living it. And that's very helpful. And you're at, you're at a beautiful sunrise. It looks so beautiful or sunset. Just looks great. Way to go. Sides of alignment. Look at this. This is so fabulous. Yeah, I get it. Oh, Barry, <laughs> she's on a beach, people. She's on a beach. Okay, of course. How exciting. <laughs> I love the point that is such, it seems like such a huge point here that until I understand that there is this inner being that, that is a part of me that is flowing the energy into me that has the benefit of all my life experiences and that it's not just before I came here that I was non-physical and I'm going to emerge back into the non-physical. There is a non-physical part of me right now until I know that then I won't understand or acknowledge what my guidance, the guidance system, until I know that it's actually the non-physical part of me, a non-physical counterpart that's flowing that energy on the, and the energy is then the emotion when the, when the line is tweaked because there it's a, it's clogged. The line is clogged because I'm in a mindset that is not the plus because this non-physical part, what I'm understanding is always on the plus. And when I'm not, now the line is clogged and then I have the negative emotion. And when I'm on the plus, when I'm seeing my life through the eyes of source, when I'm appreciating, when I'm on positive aspects, when I'm seeing the beauty in all of life, when I'm loving, when I'm understanding, when I'm recognizing others and their magnificence, then I'm on the plus and now the energy is flowing and it's enthusiasm. So I'm really excited to remember this, that we have this non-physical counterpart right now. And it yeah. is communicating with us. And it, our emotion is the starting place of that communication. Like, like you said so well, Sina, we can evolve to the point here as we practice that we have broader communication. But let's get this emotion thing down. When I'm right? thinking of something or talking about something and it doesn't feel good, that means erry, erry, erry. No, that's the, that's the buffer of time alert. It means <laughs> get on something else. Get off that topic. Just go fast. You know, be a professional. I choose to be a professional here and get myself right onto the plus as fast as I can. So these, the show is going to understanding the law of attraction. Right. Yes. Right. Cinnamon, all of this, this puzzle we're piecing together here with this intro to Abraham. So that link will be in the description. Once again, do you want to check it out here for yourself? That amazing piece of work that is so fabulous. And we'll be continuing on with it until next time. Stay tuned. Shall we dance it out? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was great. Uh, see you people. Bring back the dab. Yeah, baby. <laughs>